Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Kali Linux 2025.2 on VirtualBox. First go to Kali Linux official website and download. So official website is Kali.wars. Hit enter. Then click on download or get Kali. Both are same. See here we have the two types. Installer images and virtual machines. Okay, installer images means it is it will give com complete control over the hardware access okay this is pre-built image okay so it is up to you i'm going to download the kali linux is1 download so click on installer images then scroll down if you want to download older versions you have to click on this kali linux releases okay scroll down and see here we have the arm 64 and x86 64 bit okay so click on and see here we have two options direct download and torrent download if you want direct download you have to click on here if you want to download by using torrent link you have to click on here i am going with direct download click on it see download started go to download see here see here its size is 4.2 gigabytes i am cancelling this one because i have already downloaded kali linux 2025.2 ISO image. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open VirtualBox. If you want to install VirtualBox on your machine, then search for my YouTube channel, How to Install Kali Linux 20. Kali Linux VirtualBox on Windows or Linux operating systems. Now click on New or Machine and select New. Both are same. Then provide the name for the virtual machine. Name can be anything. Then this is the default location to store this virtual machine files and folders. But if you want some other location, click on this drop down and select other. Then select the path where you have the enough space. Then Select the downloaded ISO image. Click on drop down and select other. Then go to download. See here we have the Kali Linux 2025.2 ISO image. Select it and click on open. See once you select it, type change it to Linux, subtype to Ubuntu. But select Debian. Debian 64 bit. Then hardware. See by default it has selected 2 gigabytes. I am going to give 4 gigabytes number of cp ports to hard disk i am giving 50 gigabytes this hardware and hard disk are based on the availability then click on finish still if you want to modify the settings of this virtual machine click on select the virtual machine from this list and click on settings or machine and select settings or right click and select settings all three options are same Okay, if you are okay with all the settings, then click on start. Use up and down arrows and select the first one that is graphical install and hit enter. Select the language and click on continue. Select your location from this list. If you are unable to find, then select other. Then click on continue. Select keyboard key map. I am going with American English. Click on continue. Now we have to provide the host name for the Kali Linux. This is the default one. Okay, you can change later also. Then click on continue. If you have an existing domain name, you can provide domain name. Otherwise, keep it as blank and continue. Now we have to create our setup user. I am giving user full name as R2 Schools. Then click on continue. This will be the username. Set the password. Then click on continue. Now we have to configure the clock. See here, all time zones are based on US because we have selected country or location as United States. That's why it is showing these time zones. Then okay, select time zone. Then continue. Partition is I am going with guided use entire disk and continue. 
self that is can't continue all in on partition yes continue see this is the confirmation if you want to undo the undo changes to partitions you have to select this one then select finish partitioning and write changes to disk and continue write changes to disk select yes and continue now software selections by default it has selected desktop environment except ce and collection of tools top 10 most popular tools defaults okay so if you want like genome desktop environment you have to select this one and xfc is the default desktop environment like kd plasma or whatever you want you can select okay i'm not going to select anything i'm going with the all defaults then click on continue install the grub bootloader to your primary drive select s and click on continue select the device and continue See installation is complete, so it is time to boot into your new system. Make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into new system rather than restarting the installation. Okay, so go to virtual box. See here, optical drive is empty. If it is not empty, click on it, then remove disk from the virtual drive. Then go to virtual machine and click on continue. Now provide the username that you have created. Then hit enter. Now double click on this virtual machine to get the full screen. See, you got the full screen. Okay. Now open terminal. Let me increase the font. Now verify the version that we have installed more slash etc os hyphen release. See we have installed Kali Linux 2025.2 and its ID is like Debian. Okay. The first step after connecting to Kali Linux is we have to update the packages. sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade. Hit enter. Provide the password of sudo user. Hit enter. See, it is going to upgrade uh, upgrade these many packages and installing one package. Type away for confirmation and hit enter. Okay, now go to application menu. See here we have the different sections. So this will take time. So in this video, we have seen how to download and install Kali Linux 2025.2 on VirtualBox. Okay, for more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.